Horizon is the most underrated legend in Apex Legends. Her incredible movement and abilities, in addition to her favorable hitbox, allow for her to carry her team and solo wiping full squads. Despite all this, Horizon is the 8th most picked legend at a 4.5% pick rate. This may be related to all of the nerfs she received a long time ago, even though it didn't really have too much of an impact. As a bit of a Horizon main, I hope that this guide will make a change, because she is really slept on. Welcome to yet another Guide Wednesday, where I use my over 6,000 hours played to teach you how to play Apex. This week, we're taking a look at Horizon. Thing is, Horizon has always been the movement pub stomper's choice. Picked by goats such as It's Timmy, Moki Sniper, ACU, and Taxi 2G, ever since she was introduced back in Season 7. Slowly taking that position from Pathfinder thanks to her hitbox and outplay potential in addition to winning more duels thanks to her smaller hitbox. While she shines in casual public lobbies, she does see play all the way up in predator ranked lobbies and even in some cases competitive play, where she is used for high ground rotations and combos with her ultimate. Let's take a look at these abilities. Horizon's passive Spacewalk is the base of her kit and what makes Horizon so beloved among movement enthusiasts. Spacewalk increases Horizon's air control and removes fall impact, meaning that you can fall from infinite heights without ever getting hit with the normal stun. This lack of stun means that Horizon retains any momentum she had in the air once she hits the ground. This air control means that Horizon can move around in the air more freely, even without tap strafing. Side strafes and lurches register when she is in the middle of the air, giving her fluid movement even when she is mid-air. This allows you to make more advanced movements and hit wall hops on even less favorable angles, as you can correct your course mid-air to hit a perfect angled wall hop. The uses from having no false stun are infinite, but a passive can be used to quickly drop on an unsuspecting enemy, change your movement abilities, or hit certain ledges to gain an insane speed boost. As previously mentioned, Horizon keeps any momentum from midair once she hits the ground and as such can chain movement abilities such as a jump pad with hitting the ground to keep moving horizontally. Horizon's passive also goes hand in hand with her tactical ability, the gravity lift. Using the gravity lift places an elevator that lifts players upward and then boosts them outwards when they exit. The gravity lift lifts players for a maximum of 30 meters off the ground and kicks them out after 2 seconds. It also gives the player a small horizontal boost when exiting. The lift stays active for 10 seconds and then goes on its 20 second cooldown once the ability ends. In addition to lifting players, the gravity lift can also lift tridents and bend the trajectory or even suspend some ordinances such as arc stars, fermite grenades, frag grenades, but also certain abilities. Oh, good absolute. I oh, yeah. Unleashing my singularity. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> The lift also has many uses. The first obvious use case is using it to bring your teammates forward or onto high grounds, but it can be used for blocking off doorways or corridors, launching down teammates into safer locations, and getting enemies out of cover. You can and should keep moving when you are using the lift. It allows you to strafe in either direction without any real animation, making you very difficult to track and predict. As such, you should never take a horizon gravity lift in a straight line, but always try to wiggle around. You can use the Horizon Tactical mid-fight when you are taking too much pressure to reset and take high ground or cover. Also, since it's hard to hit someone strafing on the lift, it could be used to trade shots from time to time. I very rarely actually go to the peak of the lift as you are very exposed on the way up and definitely when you are going down. And when you are going down, try to abuse your increased air strafe from your passive to be more difficult to hit. And try jumping off the lift as soon as you can, ideally descending with some type of cover between you and the enemy. Her ultimate, the Black Hole, fires a destroyable newt that pulls players in towards it. Once activated, you can throw it in an arc or line it up however you want. After it lands, the newt takes 2 seconds to activate. When activated, the Black Hole will pull any player that has direct line of sight to it, within certain range, indicated by the outer ring, into the middle of the ultimate. Enemies trapped in ultimate will be highlighted for Horizon and their teammates. Unless broken, this lasts for 12 seconds. Horizon's ultimate will also break a door and pull an unsuspecting enemy into it. The black hole will pull you through a Gibraltar bubble and in some cases through or around walls, but the latter has been verified as a bug but has yet to be fixed, so keep that in mind when throwing it. 
the newt has 175 health, so if you throw it straight onto an enemy, odds are that they're going to break it before it activates. There are two ways you can go about this. Either place the ultimate out of line of sight but near cover so it will still pull enemies in, or use it as bait. Odds are that if you get stuck in a black hole, you are dead. As such, any enemy has to break the ultimate if it lands on them. 175 damage is about a whole magazine, meaning that you can throw an ultimate straight at your enemy and then shoot at them while they are being threatened by the black hole activating. Either they break the ultimate and take damage from you, or they trade damage with you and get stuck in the black hole. You should combine your ultimate with grenades, preferably with your team as well, who could combine their abilities and ultimates for a devastating effect. You can throw a grenade right after deploying your ultimate to have it instantly blow up the second the black hole activates and pulls your target in. I suggest combining the ultimate with your gravity lift to get a slight high ground and get a better angle to figure out where you want to place the ultimate. If you and your team happens to get stuck in an enemy's black hole, you can also use the gravity lift to pull yourself out. When it comes to team fighting, Horizon has a bit of a flexible role. She normally wants to be in the middle of the fight playing the fighter role, but she can also move forward and be the opener in a team fight with her gravity lift or black hole. At the same time, Horizon can look for flanks and openings on the enemy team and use her gravity lift to reset to safely get back onto high ground or back to her own team. If you are setting up an ultimate combo for your team, you should always use your gravity lift to get a good overlook of where to place it. Keep in mind though that the enemies will expect it and aim for you and your black hole once you initiate it. As such, you should try to time it when they are distracted by your teammates or just not paying attention to you. The combination of a kit also makes Horizon an amazing legend for movement-based outplays. You can constantly reset and look for different angles without ever using a cooldown thanks to your passive, but you can still use your tactical if you want to quickly escape or get a high ground and use the ultimate with or without grenades to cheese out picks against full teams. The choice is entirely yours. As far as her loadout goes, it is completely up to you what you feel comfortable running as long as it is a close to mid-range combination. You can benefit from a shotgun secondary coupled with a SMG or R301. Personally, I try to run the R301 and Massive combo since the R301 delivers on consistent damage across all ranges and the Massive is great for bubble fights. That being said, if you plan on delivering on consistent damage for your team, get a mid-range primary. We're now really deep into this video. If you watched this far, I'd like to thank you and hope that you left a like on the video. As an additional thank you for making it this far, I'd like to bring out a tip from the personal collection. We now know that the gravity lift deflects ordinances and thanks to its lifting property can lock off the entrance to an area for 10 seconds. This means that it can also work as an impromptu Watson ultimate. Let me explain. If you are in a position taking a lot of heat from grenades and enemies wanting to push in, you can drop your gravity lift as a means of cover and thus using it to deflect any grenades that may be on its way to land by you. This is pretty niche, but if you know what to look out for, you'll start seeing this whenever things turn bad. That being said, you're probably better off trying to disengage and restart fight with the lift instead of riding in a spot. It really depends on the lobby and the situation. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to watch me get a 21 kill game using these tips and more, check out the video available on the screen right now. I'll see you all tomorrow.